first dive today is at Shark Point. It's a small rocky pinnacle that uh, just breaks the surface. These are Godfrey sea cucumbers and uh, I've done hundreds of dives uh, on this dive site and I've seen thousands of these guys and I've never seen them behaving like this. It really is something unusual. I'm not sure if they were feeding or if it was some cleaning thing or if it was some mating ritual but uh, it, it's very very strange. You can see them all there just swaying around in the current. Some sections of the reef uh, suffered in the 2009 bleaching. You can see here large sections of coral that have bleached and died. These redfish here, they're called red soldier fish. Uh, they're often found hiding beneath coral ledges or rocky ledges. They're quite hard to get close to, but I managed to get quite a nice close-up shot here. You can clearly see the, the markings on their body. Uh, they're very beautiful fish. They normally school in groups of 20 to 100. Uh, very common on the reefs in the Andaman Sea. Now the next thing I came across was a pharaoh cuttlefish. That's this guy here. They're reasonably common on these reefs, uh, but what we're going to see next is not at all common. Okay, we're seeing him with his mate there. Uh, he's displaying classic uh, aggressive dominating behavior. Um, I was surprised at first because normally they don't uh, display this behavior towards the camera and then out of the corner of my eye I spotted the reason why. You can see just down here below them is another male. So basically the second male is trying to steal the female away. Uh, right now he's displaying classic uh, aggressive behavior, lifting up the tentacles like that, making himself appear bigger than he really is, uh, really trying to ward off the imposing male there. Some of the most evolved eyes in the entire animal kingdom belong to the cuttlefish. Uh, these strange W-shaped pupils are unable to register color but can see the polarization of light, which allows them to see contrasts even in very dim light. Uh, while humans reshape their eye lens to see things in better focus, the, the cuttlefish reshapes its whole eye. Uh, also, they have internal sensors in the eye, which allows them to observe things in both the front and behind them at the same time. So really quite amazing. That's what happens if you get too close to a cuttlefish's girlfriend.